Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to open up Fix. the Samsung screen. It's an LED screen. The model number is LS22A300. So there's no screws around the back of the Samsung screen. The only way you can open it up is to pry open the front panel. So I'll show you what I do. I use the top part of this front bezel and I just pry it open. I basically put my fingernails and use a little bit of force and my wrist and then you can hear it open yep can you hear that yeah so now it's I can open this other sides just got to be careful not to damage the front screen <clears throat> so the it's a sync master SA300 so I'm opening it up because I just want to have a look at the motherboard I can't turn on the screen for some reason so I'm just gonna see if there's anything wrong with the board see if I can fix it very unlikely but I'm just gonna show you how you can open it up yourself More here at the bottom. I think this is a more harder part. There's actually a cable at the bottom here. This is this cable is to turn it off. It's got a panel here at the bottom where it's got the controls. Basically, you can touch them and then we change the settings. There you go. Let's open it up. So this is the little controller here at the bottom. I'm just gonna unplug this. So it's got this panel here with this circuit board, and at the front here, it's got the on and off and so forth. Uh, let me just connect the power to see what happens. So I'm just going to connect, connect at the back. There's the power. Nothing, nothing turns on. There's definitely nothing wrong with the power supply. I've tested it with a different power supply, so I definitely know that's not the power supply that's the problem. So this has to be something to do with the motherboard. So let me just flip it around. And on the back you should be able to see. You should be able to see the panel. So at the back is where the motherboard is. And there you go. Strangely, moved around a little bit. It's manufactured in 2011. So this is the panel. I think you can go and buy replacement panels. I don't know whether they're still in stock, but this is the actual panel. Just gonna see whether I can see any of the capacitors that are faulty. But what I'll do is I'll disconnect it. All these connectors. so that I can see it more clearly. Let's 
So this is the board. SA300. Can't really see anything wrong. No, just from a visual inspection. I can't see what the problem could be. gonna try to turn the power just be careful as you know there's gonna be current going through it I think the panel itself is still good. It's just this board that is having a problem. Maybe the easiest thing to do is to buy a, a spare board. Just need to look for the, the model number and the spare parts to see whether there is a spare unit available. It's got a few part numbers here. So we'll give that a try. Otherwise, it might be just cheaper to replace the whole unit. But it's a bit such a shame because this panel is working. Or you can keep this and then use it as a spare if something happens with your other panel. So just say if you cracked it, I've got two, two of these. So if the other panel has a crack, I can basically replace it. Okay, so hopefully this helps someone on how to open up the, the screen to get to this motherboard and then I'll check to see if there's any spare motherboard that are available. I'm going to show you the website that I used to purchase the replacement motherboard. So this is the website, I'll put a link in the description so if you also need to get one just click on the link and just get one. So this is the actual product I purchased. It had the same model number, SA300. I looked at all the connectors. So it has these two side connectors and one at the top, which matches the one that I had in the unit. So it looks right. It has the VGA and DVI connection. And it was quite reasonably priced, $11.97 Australian dollars, which is pretty cheap. There are possibly other models that are cheap and this is the product description doesn't really have much information but I can confirm that it was the actual unit that I needed so I'm just going to show you when I have received it and how I installed the replacement motherboard hello everybody I'm just uh, letting you know that I received the, the motherboard. I ordered it from my website and it took about seven days to arrive. But this is the, the new motherboard. It does look like it could be a second hand unit. It looks a bit, a bit dirty at the front here on this panel. Let's give it a try and see to make sure whether that was the issue. So, so let me open this up again. So I'm just going to turn it around. Okay. 
Okay, so this unit, just going to compare it to make sure it's the same one. Well, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Let's have a, a Chinese label here. I did order it from China. The model was BN68-077098. SA300. I'm just gonna disconnect all the cables. So I do hope that this is the problem. Look at how to remove. Breaking any of the little doesn't look like there is any screws. The only thing that is different between these two is the there's some sort of cushions there. This one doesn't have any. There is some words at the back here. Just hope it works. Okay, guys, unfortunately, it looks like my SD card was a bit full, so some of the video in the previous section was cut off. But I'm just going to show you that the unit is actually working now. It does have there's some Chinese text in the menu. I can't maybe change that, but let's see. Yeah, there's certain. The menu is very limited. Previously, I was able to change the language. There was other settings, so uh, it could be the, some firmware on the motherboard, but at least I know the unit is working. And I'm gonna test to see if connecting it to computer does actually work so let's give that a try so I'm going to connect it to a computer DVI and yep there you go seems to be working fine okay so that's how you would um, fix an issue with the monitor you can basically open it up normally the panel would work fine unless there's damage on the panel but if there isn't any damage in the panel open it up look at the motherboard and simply replace it and I'll share with you where I bought the motherboard maybe do the same or find, find uh, a motherboard that you can replace with online do a quick search for the brand of the screen and then if you've opened that up search for the model of the motherboard and hopefully you find one hopefully this helped some of you if you did give it a like and subscribe to the channel